A joyous and historic event happening today, the wedding of April DeBoer and Jane Rouse, the Metro Detroit couple who won the right to marry in the U.S. Supreme Court. 7 Action News reporter Jane Park joins us live with Southfield on their special ceremony today. Jane? Dave, it was a very special ceremony, and you've been to weddings. You know how things go. Things are scheduled for a certain time, and uh, they get pushed behind. So we thought we were going to get to talk to April DeBoer and Jane Rouse before we went live, but we're still waiting for them. They got hung up taking some pictures and greeting guests, so we hope to speak to them very soon. In the meantime, we'll take you into the ceremony. Uh, April DeBoer was wearing a cream-colored wedding gown. She walked down the aisle in front of about 200 friends and family, walking down the aisle with her dad, then uh, Jane Rouse took her on her arm, Jane in uh, a smart looking tuxedo. Of course, the couple was joined by their friends and uh, by their uh, children, I'm sorry. And of course, Judge Bernard Freeman uh, officiated the wedding. Uh, the couple said their own vows. They actually had a lull in the ceremony because one of their sons had to take a potty break. So, of course, you know, these things happen, but it was a joyous moment in front of all uh, their friends and family. They sealed those vows with a kiss, signed their marriage certificate. And, uh, you know, this was just a historic moment. And, of course, before the ceremony, we spoke with both uh, Judge Bernard Friedman and civil rights attorney Gloria Allred, who came all the way from California to support this couple she's become friends with. They are such dynamic people, such positive people that, that, that just, you know, that they continue to do what they're doing and make a, a difference in everybody's, oops, in everybody's life. This is a movement by people who care and who've just wanted equal protection under the law. Robin's been a very, very important national leader in that movement for so many years. And now April and Jane are taking their place. And of course, April and Jane, when we spoke with them earlier this week, they told us they had no idea that their fight to adopt each other's children would uh, become such a historic thing. Of course, they've become kind of the national faces for the same sex marriage movement. And they told us they hope to kind of fade back after this momentous occasion. And again, we're still waiting for them. We hope to speak with them very soon. But for now, we're live in Southfield, Jane Park, 7 Action News. All right.